Um, ang ating for today's talk ay may kinalaman po kay Van Va Miss Vanessa Hudgens. Yung uh, media conference, press conference na ginanap po sa Manila House, Mark, March 31, uh, there was a press conference, media con that I hosted. Napakaraming mga issues po. Marami na po ang naisulat, marami na po ang nasabi. Uh, tatlong bagay ang nais kong pag-usapan. Una, yung fast talk na according to uh, some speculations, I offended Vanessa Hudgens, na upset si Direk Paul. I want to talk about it. Number two, I went off script na hindi raw ikinatuwa ng ilang tao doon sa MediaCon. Pangatlo, ano ba ang sinabi ni Vanessa Hudgens sa akin personally after the press conference? Ano ba ang sinabi ng management team uh, ng Hollywood, uh, Hollywood management team ni Vanessa Hudgens sa akin? Okay. Umpisa natin. First, I'd like to thank Joyce Ramirez. Who, uh, she was the one who contacted me for this particular gig. December pa lamang po ay tinawagan ako if I could possibly host a media conference for Vanessa Hudgens. Originally scheduled for February na move to March 31. So, walang problema po doon. Joyce Ramirez and I have worked together in projects uh, for Mario Moore, uh, Zach Efron, at marami pa pong iba. So, no problem. No questions asked. I will do it. It's Vanessa Hudgens. It's an honor for me to do an interview with Vanessa Hudgens and to moderate uh, a press conference. Pero, may mga usapan na na-offend uh, di umano si Vanessa Hudgens because I did fast talk at na-upset si Direct Paul Soriano that caused uh, the shortening or yung pagkat ng mga one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with some members of the media. Tama po, Fast Talk was not part of the press conference. As a matter of fact, mapapanood niyo po buka sa aking YouTube channel, The Boy Abunda Talk channel, yung edited version, yung binigay ho sa akin. Na, I ended the interview. I said, Vanessa, maraming salamat. Thank you. On behalf of uh, every everyone, uh, personally, I'd like to thank you. I was ending the interview. And then, somebody po shouted, gently, Tito Boy! Tito Boy! Fast Talk! Tapos, may mga nakisali, Fast Talk! Fast Talk! Fast Talk! Vanessa Hudgens po, nagtanong, Boy, what's Fast Talk? Very quickly, pinaliwanag ko, rapid fire questioning, and then you tell me the first thing that's com that comes to mind. Itinuloy ko na po, sunrise, sunset, love or career, love or money, if you have a third eye, where, where would it be? If you have wings, where would you go until I ask the sexy questions? There was no indicator that Vanessa Hudgens was offended. She was having fun. The vibe was happy. You know why? Uh, Nanay Tatay Kapuso, she's an intelligent, very brave girl. She's seasoned. And she's just a happy girl. Napakaganda po sa personal. And bright. She's very, very bright. She's very bright. And she does interviews. So, walang indication that she was offended and she was not offended i would know i've been interviewing people for over 30 years and i would know if one like you know i just asked Ma mark bautista sarah or uh sarah rachel. or uh rachel rachel and you know if you know you want to say both if you don't want to answer i don't push laluna if a fast talk question makes someone uncomfortable so okay Na upset daw si Direct Paul uh, that cost uh, for some of the one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, to be shortened, hindi ko po alam yun. But here is the story. Vanessa was not offended and I will explain to you why. Pangalawa, I went off script. Mabilisan lamang po ito. I was given a program flow. I was given a working script. And people who've worked with me, alam ho nila that I work hard on a script. A script is not what is written. A script is what is discussed among writers. Ano ba ang intention ng interview nito? So, there were a couple of factors. Number one, I was supposed to welcome the guests, to welcome the Balik Bayans. I was to welcome Tita Gina, the mother of Vanessa Hudgens. I was to welcome Stella, her sister, and uh, lahat ng tao doon sa media conference na ginanap sa Manila House sa BGC. I was to mention that uh, she signed a deal for a travel documentary with an award-winning film outfit 1017P. Also, I was to discuss kung ano nang mga Tagalog words ang kanyang natutunan, her Philippine experience, uh, and that uh, she just came from the palace where she was appointed uh, as honorary tourist, global tourism ambassador of the Philippines. Lahat po yan na nasa program flow, I covered. 
But an interview is more than just what is provided in a program flow. Meron din mga ifinid sa akin na itay kapuso. Mga ifinid sa amin ng mga tao na bahagi ng programa. Katulad ho na mahil... She fell in love with Dini Kling. She was so happy to talk about it that uh, even if she was a pescetarian, napakain siya ng chicken adobo dahil sa napakasarap. Pangatlo, yes, I will admit, I was also fed that she was considering and she may be considering getting married in the Philippines. So doon sa interview, meron ho akong tanong na, you know, I hear that some people may be flown in uh, to the Philippines in November. Medyo nakita ko na hindi komportable si Vanessa. Sabi niya, um, that's for another conversation, that's personal. I didn't push. I stopped. Instead, I went to a discussion about her desire to have an intimate relationship with the Philippines. Alam ko po, kung I know my boundaries. So, if you need then, before the, before the interview, I had a very short discussion also with Direct Paul, who said, Little boy, ang tentative title namin is The Awakening. I got that from Direct Paul, and I mentioned that during the press conference. And then some people are making a big fuzz about my mentioning Zac Efron. Nay, Tay Kapuso, before I introduced Vanessa Hudgens, nasa video was High School Musical. Lahat ng mukha ni Zac Efron was there. So I had to acknowledge. But I said in the press conference, I will stop here because we're not supposed to talk about him. Ano naman yung resulta ng research namin? Because we do research when we do interviews. Doon lumabas yung kanyang hilig sa paranormal. And she was very, very happy to talk about it. Sabi ko that you can probably trace that to your Filipino heritage. I wanted to lift up Vanessa Hudgens. I wanted her to know that I was so impressed with her body of work. Uh, Tick, Tick, Boom. Jonathan Larson's uh, work. Uh, may isa pa, The Princess Switch na pinanood natin noong pandemia. I also told her I was so impressed with the fact that she's worked with people like Nicolas Cage, James Franco, Selena Gomez, uh, Jennifer Lopez, because I wanted people to know that Vanessa, being a film, is one, if not the biggest, Filipino-American actor in Hollywood. I also researched that she hosted the MTV Awards. She hosted uh, the red carpet interviews of the Oscars this year and last year. She hosted also the Met Gala uh, red carpet interviews kung saan nawalan siya ng bosses. And she was surprised why I knew because I researched. I also went to Vanessa's acting, acting technique, acting process. Ang dami namin narating. So, ano ho bang interview? May program flow? Merong mga ifinid? Merong kaming research? That's the whole interview. Did I go off script? Hindi ho. I work hard on my interviews. So here's the thing. Ano ba ang reaksyon ng team ni Vanessa Hudgens? I got it. I got their text message from uh, a reliable, reliable uh, person from uh, the team that they were very happy, hindi lamang doon sa media conference. They were very happy with Vanessa's visit to the Philippines and how it was handled. So congratulations to all, Joyce, Direct Paul, lahat. Uh, they were very happy about it. And in particular, they had no complaints and they were very happy with our interview during the media conference. Huli na lamang po. Nung natapos ang lahat, nagpaalam po ako kay Direct Paul and if Paul had problems with me, Kaya hindi po ako naniniwala that he had an issue with me because he could have called me out. Uh, if he was bothered, and if, if he was pissed with fast talk, I would have felt it. Sabi pa, Paul, by I'm going ahead and uh, send my love to Tony. I said goodbye to Joyce. I said goodbye to Vanessa. I went to Vanessa. Vanessa, thank you for the opportunity. You know what she said? Boy, I love your energy which I thought was a wonderful comment from a wonderful, bright, intelligent girl. Salamat. Maraming salamat. Ito Gina, Stella, Vanessa, mabuhay ka, and thank you very much. So, in conclusion, ano ba ang problema? What is the problem? If you want a statement from me, this is what I'm going to say. I don't just script my interviews. I live them. Maraming salamat po. Okay.
Sana ay huminto na tayo doon. <laughs> too big, too big. <laughs> too big, too big. Sandali lamang, Mark. Huwag <laughs> niyo ginagalis dito po eh. Hindi. Uh, I was just uh, explaining. Dahil it's getting yeah. out of bound. Pero pag-usapan natin si Mark. <laughs> pag-usapan natin si Mark. Sabi ko nga, I wanted this conversation to be Mark after the book. Mark, pagka in 2018, lumabas yung iyong libro, Beyond the Mark. Ang mga katanungan ko ay... Did you hit the mark? Are you happy with the result? Did you achieve what you wanted to achieve? Or, may pagsisisi ba? May regret ba na isinulat mo ang librong yon? Ang kasagutan sa pagbabalik po ng Fast Talk with Boy Abu.